Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here and today I'm going to be flashing over Android 4.3 leaked version uh, by Samsung and yes, this is the official Samsung 4.3 flash. It is no parody with a KitKat even though I'd like to throw KitKat all over it um, but I'm going to show you how to genuinely flash over 4.3 for your Samsung Galaxy S3. So first of all what we're going to want to do is obviously back up your phone um, so in my case I did it with titanium backup I'm just going to check my titanium backup folder is there and what we're going to do is go into download mode so to go into download mode I'm just going to show you for people which are not rooted as you can see I was on Omega ROM 4.2.2 um, so I'm going to just power that down and go into download mode right now so we're going to go down on the volume key home and power press them all at the same time you're going to come up with this warning press up to continue and there you go you come up with the download mode so we're not going to plug in our phone just now uh, we're just going to um, prepare Odin and then plug in the phone so I'm going to go up to the computer so you guys can see the PC so as you can see this is where you're going to want to download it from it's uh, from Sam Mobile I will uh, link down in the description um, for you guys to download this uh, it does take a long time to download and it is a pretty big file uh, but that said it's because it's being downloaded via hot file they've got instructions over here uh, written instructions and they've got loads of print screens which is brilliant so once you get the file you'll have a folder over here uh, well you'll have a zip file and then you want to unzip that and then within that zip you'll have another zip which is an Odin zip uh, and you'd want to unzip that one as well and you'll get Odin folder within the um, within the, the folder so first of all we want to run admin uh, well run as admin Odin as admin I always do that just in case um, I've never had a problem and even though I'm admin on my PC it's just worth noting for people which aren't so as you can see we've got four files here and what we're gonna do is insert these four files so we're gonna click on BL and when you click on BL you wanna navigate to the folder which in my in my uh, example is on the desktop and as you'll be able to see here it is um, um, st it starts off with BL so BL to BL takes a little while AP to AP and as you can see sometimes it just takes a while you just it says not responding at the moment but you just have to le just let it do its thing uh, CSC to CSC so pretty simple and the only one which isn't um, annotated is the CS uh, sorry is the as the modem so you want to click modem modem goes in CP make sure repartition is not ticked and that you have no PIT in there and next what we're going to do is simply connect our phone up to the computer so remember it's in download mode and now we're going to connect it up to the computer and um, if you haven't installed it already uh, Windows will install its own drivers and whatnot I've obviously installed the drivers already you want to make sure you've installed the drivers so that Windows can pick it up uh, but the only reason it's just installing it there is because it's been a long time since I have um, plugged in my phone in download mode but as you can see once it's done it will pop over it over here in my example it's COM9 and you want to hit start so um, if Odin goes to not responding just do not panic don't do anything just let it do its thing it'll just take a little while and then it'll start as you can see it's starting right now so just be patient with flashing and it's gonna take a while what you wanna make sure as well is that you do not disconnect uh, your phone make sure it is connected and Master Yoda is looking over your phone and saying use the force um, do not uh, unplug your phone because if you unplug your phone you could well break your device um, and maybe render it into a paperweight who knows anyway guys um, I'm gonna come back in just a while after the uh, Odin process is finished might take about uh, two or three minutes and um, uh, we'll come back with a process hey what's up guys so we're back 
So as a matter of principle, what you always want to do when you're flashing with Odin is let it pass and let your phone reboot uh, to the point that it's in setup, uh, so in, in the initial setup, so then unplug it. So as you can see, it's passed. It took 6 minutes and 28 uh, seconds. So we can close Odin now, and as you can see, the internal bit of my phone has opened up. So I'm going to zoom out, unplug my phone, and bring you down to the phone. So I can say straight away that it took uh, just about a minute uh, or so to um, to boot up. It came up with some German, uh, I'm guessing it's um, a German leaked firmware. It came up with some um, German which I can only guess it was something to say with in, uh, in installing applications or something like that. So we're going to go down to English and I'm going to go through setup quickly this layout is completely changed it looks completely different so there we go guys we have just booted up into the home screen so it seems to be Vodafone based if I'm not mistaken let's check the apps as you can see there's these apps over here my web update discover so as you can see the um, icon layout has been a little bit changed this looks just a bit different as well so let's go into the settings to prove that I am on Android 4.3 and there we go as you can see Android version 4.3 I'm gonna um, enable there we go Let's see Android jelly bean with all the jelly beans going all around cool beans oh it's build number there we go just enabling developer options just going to develop options see what's going on over here anything new anything I haven't seen I always change it to 0 0.5 let's go to display notification panel got a nice little reset button there which uh, didn't used to be there you got show display percentage yeah we had that before daydream activate a screensaver and the desk home cannot be enabled desk home screen will be disabled okay oh start now oh very nice so you get a little screensaver that's uh, pretty nifty bean flinger <laughs> very cool very cool so another uh, interesting thing is that we've got the keep tap sound and key tap vibration for the Samsung keyboard which are right there get these off um, and you've got HDMI audio output stereo or surround and that's pretty cool as a new option I haven't seen there before lock screen so in the lock screen you've got ripple effect or none the applications photos looks a bit different gallery got group play hangouts Paper artist, play games looks to have a new um, new thing. Video and video hubs seem to have a new uh, font as well. So now what I'm going to do is um, attempt to uh, root the device, and by that I'm going to um, put CF root on it. Now the reason I choose CF root is because it doesn't modify the recovery or anything. Won't increase the um, uh, the binary count or anything like that so I'm gonna to attempt to see if this works or not so what we're gonna do is switch off the phone and enter download mode like we did before down on the volume home and power all at the same time and as you can see my count hasn't increased it was always at one before and it's still at one after flashing um, this leaked 4.3 firmware 
So before connecting up to the PC, again, we're going to set up Odin before doing so. So going for Odin, what we're going to do is download the CF root and you can find it on XDA developers and I'll link this down in the description. So you want to go ahead and download it for your device, which in this case is the i9-300 and no other version. This is only for the i9-300. So you want to download this file, this zip. So it comes up zipped, as you can see on my desktop over here. And, uh, with it, and within that zip, you'll have CF root, uh, auto root, and Odin. So open up Odin. Zoom in a bit. Click on PDA and go to your file uh, where you've extracted it and get CF root. It's a .tar.md5 file. So once that's uh, put in, we're going to connect our phone to the PC. As you can see, it says COM9 right there. I'm going to hit start. And usually this is very fast. So we will be able to see straight away to see if this is done or not. Or if it, if it uh, successfully roots and or boots. That rhymed. So right now, phone is doing that. Mounting, clearing up, clearing cache. Okay, fine. We'll just leave that connected. I always leave it connected until it's fully booted or if there is problems or if there's problems then I uh, disconnect it uh, and re-enter download mode Android is starting up and we're booted so unplug it So we're going to unlock and go and check if we've got super user. We do indeed. As you can see, we have got super user. So what I'm going to do now is go into the market, download Titanium Backup and prove to you that it is rooted and it can uh, access root. Just uh, updated Super SU, so just uh, updating this. There we go. TB is installed. What I'm going to do as well is check my files. And as you can see, the internal SD card got completely wiped. I've got nothing on my internal SD card but my external SD card has still got my titanium backup folder and that's the one I want so I'm going to just paste that in now so do bear that in mind when flashing over uh, this ROM it does say it's going to wipe your device but most ROMs do not flash your internal SD card as well in this case it does so do bear that in mind when flashing this ROM um, a lot of people might not expect that because they might have their titanium backups and whatnot. That's why I always say if you're going to flash a ROM, do a backup, but then also put that backup on your PC so that you um, you're you're fully safe. One thing I find really interesting, which I've never seen before on any Samsung device, is this: my files is running. Touch for more information on how to stop it, and that's because it is copying across. And that is brilliant because um, I have never seen that before. If I go back, go on that, one item copied. And uh, that is brilliant. So I've got my titanium backup on my internal SD card, and I always check its size 730 meg. Seven thirty meg. That's fine. Right. So now I'm going to launch Titanium Backup. Granted Super User. And as you can see, guys, root access accepted. So um, it has got 
root access and that's brilliant so as you can see we've got Android 4.3 flashed on a Galaxy S3 i9 300 and we have got it rooted and again to prove to you guys that I'm Android 4.3 as you can see right there. So this is a German Vodafone build uh, but that's no problem if we're rooted now because we can get rid of all that crappy bloatware via an app for example Titanium Backup we can go through the system apps and delete anything and everything that we want. Be sure to check what you're deleting in case you don't delete something like Samsung keyboard if you have no other keyboard um, so do bear that in mind with Titanium Backup but you can delete uh, random uh, apps that you might never use. Uh, in my case, it's like the music player uh, that I never use, TouchWiz Home, which is the launcher I don't use because I use Zeme Launcher, um, and other things like that. Vodafone updates, for example, just to give you an example. Do you want to uninstall? Yes. Yes. And it's gone. I've, I've lost Vodafone updates, so I don't ever have to have any Vodafone bloatware of um, Vodafone updates in there. So you'll be able to see, it used to be over here, now it's gone. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope this video has been um, helpful to you guys. So now you can um, experience Android 4.3 on the Galaxy S3, and it seems like Samsung has skipped Android 4.2.2 on the Galaxy S3, despite, in my opinion, it working very well, and it being very much optimized for the Galaxy S3. I have no idea why they didn't uh, put 4.2 uh, 2.2 on the Galaxy S3, but it seems like uh, they had better plans. So, it seems like 4.3 is around the corner, um, and hopefully we should get it soon, as in the official uh, non-leaked version out there, um, I would say within two or three weeks. Um, fingers crossed. Uh, for for this uh, update to come out. Anyway guys, be sure to subscribe, be sure to comment, and be sure to like, uh, and do check out my parody where I uh, literally unzipped, a, <laughs> unzipped and unpacked the KitKat and flashed it in, in, in parentheses. Alright guys, take care. Totally dubbed out. Bye bye.